Hello and welcome to the B&D Independence Online Training Academy. This is Zach Lewis, Training Manager for B&D Independence, welcoming you to the High Tower Docking Station Training Course. In this course, we will go over the proper installation, fit and function testing of the High Tower Docking Station within a minivan. The first step for installing your High Tower Docking Station is to attach the side bracket frame to the mainframe bracket. B&D recommends doing this before installation to the frame to prevent wheelchair components from interfering with the installation itself. Loosely attach all four bolts before completely tightening down. With all four bolts attaching the side bracket to the mainframe bracket, the brackets are now ready to be attached to the power wheelchair. Begin re by removing the legs from the wheelchair. Next, stage the seat so that you can easily reach the bolts that hold the seat and the frame together. Remove the seat frame from the base of the wheelchair. This will vary between the models of wheelchairs available. With the assistance of another person, lift the seat frame from the base of the wheelchair and apply the frame brackets. Typically, the seat frame can be put back in place so that the bolts can be mounted. At this time, attach all frame brackets to the wheelchair and frame bracket itself. Tighten down once set. With the frame bracket securely attached, it's time to conduct your first alignment test. Taking the ABS cover off the high tower unit, you'll be able to see four bolts. These bolts can be adjusted so that the high tower unit can be set at any vertical height necessary to meet the needs of the wheelchair. Loosen these four bolts and then place the unit up alongside the power wheelchair. At this time, take the side mounted bracket and drive it into the high tower docking station. It may take some maneuvering to get in the first time. Once the alignment is set, tighten down the four bolts to ensure that you're at the right height when you place the unit into the vehicle. Once you're ready to begin the electrical installation of the high tower docking station, remove both the driver and passenger pedestal and seats to give yourself the maximum amount of room in order to conduct this installation. The first step when conducting the electrical installation is to remove the dash panels from the console area. This will be done no matter what, whether you're going to the battery for your power and ground or the conversion company fuse panel. If you decide to conduct your installation to the conversion company panel, find the battery and ignition fuse block as well as a location for your ground screw. Once these wires have been routed, make sure you leave enough wiring to stick out the side of the console area. You can then close up the console dash panels. Electrical wiring for the high tower docking station can be done one of two ways. B&D always recommends running the power, ground, and ignition wires out to the vehicle engine block. Again, there will be three wires involved in this process. The ignition wire, which for the Chrysler can be located at the TIPM module, your power wire, which runs directly to the battery, and your ground wire, which runs directly to the battery. With the electrical installation complete, your next step will be conducting a measurement session of the high tower docking station and power wheelchair within the minivan. Each high tower docking station comes with its own chalk system. This easily replaces the ABS plastic cover on the dog bone hook system. Begin by removing this plastic cover from the dog bone hooks. The high tower chalk system should slide easily in place. Bolt this down once ready. At this time, drive the power wheelchair into the minivan. Do your best to locate the power wheelchair to an area that will allow the driver or passenger to sit comfortably and still control the steering wheel. Once you've located the power wheelchair to the appropriate area, mark this area for future reference. Next, place the high tower unit close to where you'll be aligning it with the power wheelchair. Engage the power wheelchair to the high tower docking station, bringing the power wheelchair back to its marked location on the floor. With the power wheelchair and high tower docking station in their proper places, it's time to mark on the floor exactly where the high tower will be installed. On the exterior side of the power wheelchair, 
located and aligned the chalk system. At this point, you'll be drilling into the frame of the minivan. B&D highly recommends that the underside of the vehicle be checked for any wires, fuel lines, or anything else that may be damaged during this drilling. You can use a lift or a creeper system to get underneath the vehicle. With the assistance of another, clearly mark the underside of the vehicle in the area that will be drilled into. This is critical so that you miss any underlying wires or fuel lines that might be hit. Once you have checked the undercarriage of the vehicle for any possible fuel lines or wires, you're now able to drill your first bolt hole into the minivan. Once comfortable with the position of the first hole, drill all five holes with a pilot hole. Next, drill out all the pilot holes with a half inch drill bit. Clean up the area for any debris. Utilize the provided bolts to keep the high tower docking station in place while you conduct the next step of the installation. Utilizing the six sets of provided washers and nuts, attach all washers and nuts and tighten down the bolts holding the high tower docking station to the floor. Once all six sets of provided washers and nuts have been attached, utilize the help of another to tighten them down. Using the spot you earlier marked on the chalk plate, drill and bolt the chalk to this plate. With the high tower firmly bolted to the ground, attach your power ground and ignition that you ran underneath your dash to the high tower docking station dash. Find a visible, easy to reach spot and locate the control box to the dash. Utilizing the dash panels, hide as much of this wire as you can. With all the components completely installed and the electrical run, it's time to do a final fit and function test of the high tower docking station and the power wheelchair. The most important part of testing the electrical components is the ignition and override. Turn the vehicle ignition on. The undock button should not work at this time. However, the override should work and produce a yellow light. Press the undock button again. You should be able to undock from the high tower station. Test the manual release system as well. Ensure when the power wheelchair is fully forward that it conforms to the chalk system. After the final fit and function test, you have successfully installed the high tower docking station into the minivan. B&D Independence appreciates your time and input into the high tower docking station process. If you have any more questions about high tower docking or B&D Independence, visit us at www.bdindependence.com or www.hightowerdocking.com.